the forest, dark, cold, foreboding. Hello? Anyone there? First, thou shalt not drink the blood of thinking creatures. Second, thou shalt obey me in all things. You keep low to the ground, scuttling like a rat. Third, thou shalt not leave my side unless directed. Oh, please, not again. Fourth, thou shalt know that thou art mine. Free. Lie to yourself, boy, but not to me. You are mine forever. Cazador, your master. You have to get back to him quickly. If you're late, he'll flay you again. What will he say when he finds you can walk in the sunlight and he can't? And then it dawns on you. If you're free to walk in daylight, can you be free of Casador too? Free of his rules? First, thou shalt not drink of the blood of thinking creatures. You look at your companions, sleeping, helpless. How badly do you need to know? You can smell the sweetness of her skin, hear the beat of her pulse. Blood gushes into your mouth. You can feel it filling the more inside you, filling your soul. You fall back, glorious blood coating your throat. You creep back to your bed with a full belly and singing heart. For the first time in centuries, you feel happy. into your mouth. You can feel it filling the more inside you, filling your soul. You fall back, glorious blood coating your throat. You creep back to your bed with a full belly and singing heart. For the first time in centuries, you feel happy. Oh. Why am I so dizzy? I didn't have so much as a drop of ale. Tiefling's blood pulses hot as lava, pungent with a harrow of life-ending power. What? The thought of putting your friends <laughs> to her neck makes you feel sick. Do they not expect you to have? Smell the sweetness of his skin, 
Hear the beat of his pulse. Blood gushes across your lips, but something's wrong. Very, very wrong. <laughs> You're a bloody vampire, but you bit off more than you can chew. For your reference, bites hurt. Consider that a given. Then let my blood be a warning to you. There's more to me than meets the eye. I am not for eating. You smile, grateful. A lucky escape for you both. <sighs> I thought I'd awaken feeling, well, drained. But I seem to be quite as well as ever. Admittedly, that's not saying much given our ongoing predicament. Nonetheless, I'm glad I woke up when I did. As I said, I'm willing to move past the whole exsanguination issue, so long as you can promise to keep that hunger of yours in check. Hmm. A choice both efficient and pragmatic. Huh. Most unlike you. So, we move forwards. And when the occasion arises, we show our enemies exactly how sharp those teeth of yours can be. You drift into the forest, hunting for anything with a pulse.